So this is how the number 96, Guido Hini, became a junior GP race winner. The Italian launched from pole position and did get a good start, though Alvaro Carpe managed to get the hold shot. Max Kiele slotted into third position. Pini did respond on Carpe, taking the lead once again. And eventually, the Carpe and Pini went blow for blow before Jesus Rios joined in on the fun to take the lead for the first time in the album. Evan Belford was one of the riders who went down alongside Cormac Buchanan early in the race, when Alessandro Morosi had a scary crash coming over the crest. Thankfully, the Italian was okay. A breakaway group formed of six riders led by Carpe. Casey O'Gorman moved into second position at the expense of Max Quiles, before Jesus Rios took over P2 from the Irish rider. Rico Salmela joined it, the lead group to make it seven riders battling for victory as Carpe kept it cool and steady out front. Big, big moment there for Jeffrey Emmanuel. Saw him go wide. Back out front though, Pini seized the initiative ahead of Quiles, O'Gorman, Rios and Carpe. And he never really let go. Began to build up a considerable advantage in terms of the Junior GP class. While we lost another couple of riders later on in the race. Cesare Tietzi among them. Guido Pini then you can see has built up a seven or eight bike length advantage make sure he avoided any late scares coming across the line to take his first win. Max Quiles edged out Alvaro Carpe to second with Jesus Rios in fourth position, but it's Guido Pini who goes from pole to P1 in race two at the Algarve.